Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming absence assessment. Today I am going to share some important verbal ability questions which were asked earlier and which can be asked in the upcoming absence assessment. Okay, as you know from verbal ability the most important chapters are reading comprehension, article prepositions, then synonym antonyms, then spotting errors, then sentence arrangement and tense. Okay, so I'll give importance today to spotting errors and I'll cover the sentence arrangement okay so let's start with the tips then I will discuss the questions okay so at first uh, let's start with the tips for error correction okay so at first subject verb agreement so tips is this ensure the subject and verb agree in number okay you have to make sure that if uh, this is singular or plural and you have to act accordingly okay as uh, example like this the list of items are on the table okay so the list is a singular thing okay the list is a singular item okay and list of items okay so in the singular list there are plural items okay so it is a singular number okay so that's why you have to give is okay so give uh, importance to this subject verb agreement okay so tense consistency you have to maintain the same tense throughout the sentence unless there is a clear reason to shift okay so here's a incorrect sentence that is she was eating dinner and then goes to bed okay so here is the uh, error that then goes okay so for only present indefinite tense es and s add with the add with the verb okay other than that no uh, nowhere the s and es added okay so she was eating dinner and then went to bed okay so it was in past tense that's why it should be in past okay so i hope you understood pronoun agreement make sure pronouns agree with the nouns they refer to in terms of number and gender okay everyone should do their homework everyone should do their homework so here everyone is referring to a singular person okay a singular singular people okay person okay so that's why everyone should do his or her homework this would be the perfect one okay so i hope you will give importance to the simple simple problems okay so parallel structure when listing items or actions ensure they follow the same grammatical structure so she likes the reading to write and cooking so you have to follow the structure so she likes what reading writing and cooking so to write is unjustified here okay so i hope I uh, understood so modifier placement and relative clauses also like check that uh, relative pronouns uh, who which that are used correctly and refer clearly to the right noun okay so the book book is a noun okay so the book is a noun also an object okay so the book which I borrowed from the library who was very old fell apart okay so the book that I borrowed because for the object for the object mainly that will be the perfect one okay and i borrowed from the library which was very old fell apart who is only referring to a person okay so that's why you have to use it accordingly okay and you have to also uh no no actually you don't have to give importance to the punctuation actually it is not that much important okay let's start discussing the actual question so that you can prepare better okay so let's start with the first question so the first question is this the young girl who complete her medical degree has working in remote villages in india so here the options are these so i hope you will pause the video and try to answer so you will be given this instruction so please read that mark the answer is no error if there is no error in the underlined part okay so clearly here some uh, errors are there who complete okay so who is okay because it was referring to the girl okay so who completed her medical degree is now working in remote villages in india okay has working is impossible okay it, this is not uh, this is not following the actual format of sentence okay so that's why who completed her medical degree is working in remote villages in india why is working because the young girl is a singular number okay so that's why is working will be the perfect one so that's why the first one will be the correct answer okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is 
this the manager along with his team members are planning to launch the project by the end of the month so these are options so where is the actually i have not underlined please uh, correct the sentence if there is no error then also choose the option accordingly okay so let me take the pen okay so uh, in the in this case what will be the correct answer so the option a will be the correct answer the manager along with his team members is planning to launch okay so the manager along with his team members is planning to launch actually this the manager the manager is a singular number and these are planning this is referring to this directly referring to this okay so the manager is planning this is correct okay so that's why the option a will be the correct answer okay so along with his team members it is okay but this this is plural but this is is referring to the manager okay so that's why the option a will be the correct one okay okay so the next question is this despite the fact that she had completed all the necessary steps she was denied the opportunity to present their ideas to the board okay so please go through the options and correct uh, tick the correct one okay so just wait i'm going to share some important tips for the uh, sentence arrangement questions and i'll show you some questions regarding that also okay so please wait so she was denied the opportunity to present her ideas so what's the question that is despite the fact that she had completed all the necessary steps she was denied the opportunity to present their ideas to the board so what will be the correct one so in this case the correct answer will be option a she was denied the opportunity to present her ideas why because here the pronoun there there is incorrect okay there it is incorrect because it doesn't agree with the singular subject c okay so that's why her will be uh, replaced with uh, there okay so she was denied the opportunity to present her ideas okay so this c is referring to this that's why there will be replaced with her okay so the next question is this if the team leader and the project manager fails to address the issues the project will likely to likely be delayed so these are options fails to addressing the issues fail to address the issues fails to address the issues okay so what will the correct answer please tick so if the team leader and the project manager fails to address the issues fails i am thinking there is a error okay so uh, in this case the correct answer will be fail to address the issues fail to address the issues why because at first let me take that fail to address the issues because the compound subject okay this is the compound subject that's why we have to tick fail not fails okay fails only refers to the third person singular number okay third person singular number and here the team leader and the project manager they are both compound okay so that's why we have to tick we have to give fail not fails okay so i hope you understood so the next question is this the report which was supposed to be submitted last week have been delayed due to unforeseen circumstances so please i hope this is visible to you so please take the correct one from the options before i take the actual answer i would recommend you to have the prime materials of any company that you want in which i have included all the questions of previous year and this year as well and also mock test so to get that mock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf you will get it this is paid but very affordable okay so let me discuss so in this case uh the question number four the correct answer will be has been delayed due to unforeseen circumstances why because the report the report is a singular so the correct auxiliary verb is has okay not have the report this is a singular number okay so that's why have this is not correct okay so the report if this is the reports if this would be reports 
then have been would be correct but this is singular that's why have been is incorrect okay so has been delayed due to unforeseen circumstance this is the correct answer so the next question is this identify the error in the following sentence so this would be a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to give the answer although they had planned to leave early but the heavy rain forced them to stay until the weather improved so what would be the correct answer so i hope you will give the answer and you will show me how much attentive you are okay so let's go to the next topic that is sentence sorry rearrange sentence okay so here are some tips that is identify the main subject and verb okay so let me show you a question how actually the questions are asking it for from rearrange sentence okay so the question would be like uh, this so humans store of items in short term subsequent operations a limited number of working memory to perform so this way you will be given your questions okay and you have to tick the correct one correct arrangement like cadb bdc cdb acdb okay so this way you have to tick okay so uh, here identify the main subject and part so at first you have to identify the subject then identify the verb okay so here is the example a man is intelligent who studies so at first you have to find the subject so how would you find a subject you have to just ask the verb a question who and what okay so you will get the answer like a man in this case so it is the subject okay a man who studies is intelligent so at first you have to find the subject then the verb okay so i hope you understood so look for logical connect connectors words like and but because and therefore often signal relationship between sentence fragments and can guide you in determining the correct order so and went home he finished his work so he finished his work and went home okay so uh i hope you know the correct order subject plus verb plus object so you have to just rearrange the sentence uh, just using that forms okay so start with most complete fragment and also use pronouns as clues okay look for modifiers as well so let's start with the actual questions so increasing the efficiency is crucial for of the production process meeting demand so what would be the correct answer abdc acdb bdc dbca okay so in this case actually the correct answer will be a c b d why increasing the efficiency of the production process is crucial for meeting demand why because uh, just uh, let me show you the connection so increasing or uh, increasing the efficiency of the production process is the noun sorry is the subject and is is this is a b verb is crucial for meeting demand is crucial so ask and this is the verb and this is the object for meeting demand okay so let's go to the next question that is rearrange the following fragments to form a complete sentence so aimed at improving the company its environmental impact has introduced new policies so anybody will see the so at first try to start with that uh, option okay so the company the company and then you will start finding the verb so this is already quite seems like uh, subject okay so start finding the verb what would be the verb so this way you can uh, choose okay so in this case the correct answer will be b uh, d a c yes b d a c will be the correct answer so b d a c option a will be correct so the company has introduced new policies aimed at improving its environmental impact okay so the company has introduced the company this subject has introduced introduced this is verb okay new policies for new policies why because aimed at improving 
its environmental impact okay subject verb object okay so this way this is uh, working okay so the next question is this uh, rearrange the following fragments to form a complete sentence the new policy to the environment will have a significant positive impact so in this case also as you can see the is here so you can start with this a okay option a so in this case the new policy will have a significant positive impact to the environment okay so how we have to start with the okay so as you can see c and d are quite eliminated at the first phase okay so the new policy and check if these are actually working or not a and b the new policy will have a significant positive impact a c d a c d and then b option a will be the correct answer okay the new policy this subject will have a significant positive impact so this was subject verb then object okay so the next question is this rearrange the following fragments to form a complete sentence one of the important is to maintain goals in life a balance between work and play so what is the correct answer in this case okay so so let me answer that uh, one of the most important goals one of the most important goals in life is to maintain a balance between work and play so a um, c b d a c b d so option a again will be the correct answer okay so i hope you understood and this video added value to your kid just let me show you the question please give the answer of this in the comment section so i hope you will give so so if this video added value to your career then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please join our telegram channel t.me slash ubikanna for any exam discussion and please subscribe our ubikanna channel in which we will discuss the latest questions okay so i hope you do so, so thank you for today's session